Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and Part 7 of my Seducers of Slanesh campaign, where last time we declared war on Scarbrand. And I'm going to be honest, Scarbrand does scare me quite a bit. He's a scary, scary boy. Uh, do I? Uh, you can't really. Just, you just hold there. You, you, those, those guys should just chill. Uh, you are laying an ambush just in case they come across the river. Mind you, if they do, they won't be able to get across, will they? So actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to head straight for Bridge of Brass so we can secure that. Stormy. You can, uh -oh, wounds. Get better at stabbing people. Uh, I could. Okay, so here's a thought. One of the cultist buildings is like, uh, some, it's like spawns a disciple army, right? I need to find a settlement which has a cult in it, which I haven't already built something in. Ah, there we go. Right. Okay, so the, the cult is destroyed upon building completion, but only costs 250 devotees, which we've got plenty of. Only takes one turn. So what we could do, what we could do, is actually, like, put a cult in Infernus, spawn a, a cultist army, just to help besiege the place. I mean, that is a method. I was kind of, like, looking at my cultists and going, well, what can they do? Not I mean, they can, they can hinder, they can wound. Hinder is probably... Uh, the least useful army agent action. Um, hinder replenishment. It's, it, the AI armies just tend to suicide themselves anyway, so the likelihood of you beating one up to the point where it needs to replenish is fairly low. Much more low to have an army actually in the area. For the most case, it's just going to be wasted money. Assaulting army, very, very good. Assault unit, fucking terrible. Even worse than replenish. Um, slowing army, very good. So I would say, if I was going to do a tier list of agent actions, you've got Assault and and um, slow, both like A tier. Then you've got like Kinder replenishment below that, and then right below that, right right down the bottom, right 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 down the bottom, you've got assault unit because assaulting unit is just legitimately pointless. So there we go, Kimmy, you're going to stay there. We've got good money going on. Let's make sure that none of our places are going to rebel. I think everyone's fairly happy. You are at plus three. You're at plus fourteen, so that's all good. Now we're not taxing you. What if we do tax you? Then you start going down by minus one, but we do get more cash. So I'm kind of like that's that's no bad thing. That's no you know what? Let's let's uh. Let's keep that. Kimmy, you're just going to chill there. Riley, we basically want to do as much... Right, we can't do anything with you. We, we, we want to seduce as many people as possible to get that Slanesh corruption rolling in. I mean, look at, look at the Reichland right now. There's, there's streams of weird, sticky, purple, viscous fluid. Um, that's, that's odd. And there's probably dildo trees everywhere. So that's fun. Jesse Jane, where the fuck are you? Oh, you're all the way over here. Uh, you know what? Increase your chance a little bit is is probably adequate. We don't have any we don't have any money to do any agent actions at the moment anyway, so there's no point worrying too much about that. Hell, really? Jesus. Um. Re you really, really, really? I think I could probably do best. Okay. Yeah, oh, look at this bunch of filthy chaos boys. It's not very many of them. Defeat, really? I mean, I know it's a summoned army, but still. Seriously? Alright, so we have our cavalry on the left flank here. So we have the Seekers of Sinesh. Pretty good stats. Armor piercing as well, but of course, uh, pretty much shock cavalry. So we're going to take on those Chaos Warhounds, because Chaos Warhounds should melt fairly quickly. And then we're going to take the Blood Crushers on. Mano a mano. 
but then we're going to flank them as well. So uh, although we, although they're going to do a lot of damage to start off with, they should then get uh, absolutely... Yeah, there we go. They're getting absolutely destroyed. Chariot's doing some good work on the infantry there, just chewing through them, bumping into each other. Uh, not so good. One of those units is already going to uh, start crumbling. Our infantry is on their way to give us a little bit of support, but already we can see there's going to be some issues here because uh, several of my units are getting their asses handed to them already. A little charge in there, slamming into those gore beasts and the halberdiers with more marauders now moving up to join the fray on the back there. The chariots continuing to try and harass the enemy, but enemy reinforcements have arrived. To be honest, we're having enough trouble dealing with this first army, let alone the reinforcements. The enemy, uh, our army general, is getting the shit kicked out. I mean, it's just, ah, just torn to pieces, limb from limb. She went down faster than Nakari does. Not in battle, but in, in other ways. You know what I mean. Anyway, the point is that, uh, yeah, so the Blood Letters, got the Horn, the Horn of Corn. Yeah, he's not the only one with the Horn around here. Unfortunately, he's using it to, to beat us to death with, and uh, that's that's pretty effective. Need to get the Chariots in here. Uh, they're, they're just annihilating our front line here. It's, it's not even close. Uh, the Chariot is trying to get some charging in there. Trying to do a little bit of damage, but it's they're, they're, they're struggling to push through that blob. But push through, they will. I'm hoping to get them around behind, and then we can maybe do a rear charge there, maybe do some damage. Uh, but yeah, it's looking, it's, it's not looking great. We brought in significantly more troops than they did, but we're losing them very, very quickly. Although we have done some significant damage to that, that starting army, uh, there's certain units that we just can't seem to deal with. The enemy general, particularly, is just murdering his way through everything. And yeah, I mean. Ugh. I don't know. My general got her ass spanked. Normally she enjoys that, but I think her head might come off. So some rear charging here. Will it be enough? Uh, no, is the is the quick answer to that one. We can see the numbers here. I mean, we haven't done too badly, and this was a free army, so I guess I can't complain too much, but I honestly thought they'd do better. It, it just kind of feels like one on one, Korn's units are just way better than mine. Like, we're getting some rear charges. I've tried to do a lot of flanking here, cycle charging, all that kind of good stuff, but it, it just doesn't seem to have. Just doesn't seem to have been enough. Uh, our units are being pulled down one by one. Um, although, you know, we did do significant damage to the enemy army, so I guess that's good. It's something, at least they probably won't be able to push on towards the settlement. I say probably. Kind of depends how much damage I've actually done. Uh. I can't help but feel a little bit outclassed by corn in pretty much every respect. Like... I just feel one of his, like, bog-standard units can murder one of my bog-standard units in no time flat. Uh, Defensive Alliance. I... Oh, you have stopped your war with my ally. You don't like each other, but it is getting better. Um... I mean, worst case scenario, try and kill each other again. To be honest, I wouldn't even really be that bothered. Well, ancient agony. I keep your secrets brings you shimmering crystal. Frozen soul of an old one. Captured anguish moment of death. Oh. Um. While it's almost certainly a mere slant soul, still a never. Okay, 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 I see. Basically, he's trying to. He's a he's a scam merchant. Yeah, they didn't even really take that much damage. Uh. Could we wound you? We could. Maybe. It does make me worry about the Blighted Grove, because if 
if bog standard bloodthirsters and chaos warriors can just murder my marauders without a, without a buy or leave, I don't think the Blighted Grove will survive. Um, but if we can take out their capital, that will leave them with significantly less options. So here's the plan. We we do this, an excess cult salon, where all the bloodthirsters can get their hair done. I don't know. And the and, and that'll be f f fine. Um, good. Uh, we do have allies around here. Uh, can we stab this guy? Come on. It's a 10% chance, but... It's, it was a 10% chance, but still. Uh, right, we'll take the Bridge of Brass. Really? Pyrrhic victory? The fuck? Alright, well, we'll I'll, I'll steal your Chaos Furies. I'm going to seduce the Furies. That'll... Oh, okay, let's, let's go with that. Those chariots. So, look, right, like, you know, I, I, I get it. It's, it's like a whole thing. I hope that's got really good suspension, because otherwise, the first speed bump they go over, Mia is just airborne. Surely. I mean, that does not look stable, does it not? Anyway, uh, and anyway, we've got Chaos Warriors of Corn, sort of trying to defend this. Uh, we're taking up the Piercing Tower there, which is good. So they're now pulling back, which is good, because we now move our Demonettes and the Fiends in as well. As Mia starts rolling over some of these big burly Chaos Warriors. Good stuff. In come the Fiends. They're going to be causing a lot of mess. I love the way they move. For all of Warhammer 3's faults, the animation has always been, like, fucking top tier. You know, seeing the units on the tabletop brought to life is, is truly fucking amazing. All right, the, these boys are having a bad time. They are charmed. They they are sufferific musks. They're withered. Ba basically, they're having a rough old time. Meanwhile, over the other side of the battlefield, Nakari and Angela are having a lovely time with these Chaos Warriors. Summon de uh, demonettes. Join the pie there. I don't need to worry about them. They can die if they want to. It's their party. Over here, we're blobbing up against some more Chaos Warriors of Corn taking this victory location with the Hell Flayers. And the other side of the battlefield, uh, pretty much no contest here. Just one unit of Chaos Warriors throwing in the Exalted Demonettes of Slanesh, taking a little bit of fire there from the tower, which is probably the, the main problem. These Chaos Warriors are uh, charmed. So, reduction in melee attack for them. And our ladies got 50 melee defense, which means they're going to be uh, finding it hard to actually hit our Demonettes, let alone anything else. And now here come the, the pointy-armed Marauders. There they go. gonna be tricky to do i mean yeah, imagine imagine they've got a, a tin of spaghetti hoops how the fuck are they going to open those eh that's the real question of the, of the deep chaos wastes how do marauders with big spear arms open their spaghetti hoops hmm hmm and no one's thought of that have they i mean they, they could use a spike but it's a very it would be very unwieldy i mean it's a very small t if you had like one of those half tins that's gonna be a nightmare to try and you're just going to, like, at best, you're going to pierce all the way through it. And you just your tomato soup is going to be all over the place. Oh, absolute fucking nightmare. Oh, carnage. Anyway, Angela and Nakari are just murdering their way through everyone here. This is fine. This is very much, pretty much how you need to do uh, Sinesh aggressive sieges. It's sort of, like, pick the enemy apart bit by bit. Isolate, surround, and cut to pieces. Okay, we've got our flank on. Cut them apart nice and easily. All good. I'm tempted to create a vassal. Because although it wouldn't realistically help me, taking the settle keeping and taking the settlement is going to be harder if we're going for Infernus. So I'm thinking maybe we like a... I mean, they'll probably die immediately, but does that matter? Mind you, I could just get more money. Ah, fuck it. 
I'll take the cash. Thanks. Thank you. Most kinds. My divine master. Is I guess the cult the cult's thing is by agents. Um let's go wound. So I mean the more agents we have the better. I am about to lose a big chunk of money though, because this is gonna go up by ten. And that's gonna make everyone too happy. So apparently that's bad. I do So let's have a look. So for the moment we've got We've got wait wet wet because wait, you've We're using this, aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? Does this? Because it's not saying events. Oh, wait, no, it is saying right at the top, events. There we go. Because I, I can't bloody read. Right, so we, we would normally get minus 10 public order, which is quite a chunk. So I'm wondering if we maybe want to build some of these up so we get less problems with corruption. Not corruption, with public order. Because that'll help a little bit, won't it? So maybe we do that. Let's upgrade those. And hold off that for a minute. Because this will last for a few more turns. And then it will start dropping again. And then we'll get some more money. So we won't have as much money for a, for a little while. Uh, but once that dissipates, we'll be all good. You are going to almost fully replenish next turn. Which is fantastic. I am going to give you... I do hate corn, but... To slay. Indeed. Uh, let's grab... Supplement Sprite? Yeah, I mean, corn's not going to shoot us, so... Well, he's unlikely to, anyway. And let's make you... No. Mobility. There we go. Right, so... So, we're going to build that in one turn. Are you in... You're not quite... You know what? Hold off. Hold... Right. Chill for a minute. Basically, we want to be able to get an Akari into range of Infernus. I'm a little bit worried about these guys. Because we did not kill very many of them in that battle. And, uh... So somewhat concerned. Where's Scott? No, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kimmy! Uh, right. Is he in range? What's it now? I'll tell you what. Maybe some Marauder Horsemen, because they can shoot. And maybe these guys. Maybe if he can't reach them, I don't think he can reach them in one turn. In which case, Kimmy, good luck. Uh, you'll need it. However, if we can take Infernus, I mean, I, I still need to kill these these dickheads. Uh, again, I'm, I'm worried they can just murder my... Uh, we don't have any of that. None of that. Or any of the else. I mean, okay, so... I, they're, they're pretty beaten up. If we can take Infernus... Then at least Korn will be recruiting his garbage units from then on in. Because although the AI can cheat, they can't recruit stuff they don't have buildings for. Military access. Uh, oh, I don't really want to give you access because you'll probably give me an STI, but alright. Just don't don't pen right, we've got a little neutral zone there between us. Don't penetrate the neutral zone. Do not penetrate my neutral zone. Ah shit. Well, at least we managed to get those units, so that's something. And you guys... Oh, Nakari, you could reach there. You lied to me. I guess that's the extra movement from, from Thingy. Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to move you up here. We're going to ambush. We are going to build this... 
of the perfect prince. And where is you? Assassinate. Try and assassinate him. The devoted oh, holy shit. You actually you actually only went and god bloody Eight. did it. And it shall be. Okay, try and stab him as well. They you. Oh, ladies! Ladies, yes! This is what I wanted, ladies, and you gave it right to me. Oh, you gave it to me. You gave it to me good. Nice one. My divine master. Ladies, never change. Right, okay, so the, the plan is we, we spawn this, this salon, and then the angry barbers will help us kill corn, and we'll take Infernus. With Infernus down, it means he won't be able to recruit blood crushers, gore beast chariots, all that kind of bollocks. He will be restricted to stuff like exalted blood letters. I mean, still, that's pretty pretty bad. Um, still, it, it's his capital, so that'll be something. He, he, Kimmy, Kimmy might go down. I don't know what she. I don't. I mean, Scarbrand himself is probably enough to take out. I, like, I, like the, the last campaign, I got scared when Scarbrand turned up with eight bloody bloodthirsters, and uh, someone was like, "Oh, he just. It's just an act." No, legitimately fucking terrified of Scarbrand. That guy has caused me no end of troubles throughout my campaigns. Whenever he turns up, I know I'm in for a rough ride, right? Pretty much every other legendary lord, I'm just like, that's fine, we can deal with him. Scarbrand turns up. Oh, shit. Genuinely, he scares me. Loves to frolic as much oh, I love a good frolic. Uh, you are a Nurgle boy. I'm going to say that you're too close. You're going to give me an STI and I don't want one. A rune of luck is kind of shit, but I'll take it. Uh, right. Right. I was hoping for, I won't lie. I was hoping for something a little bit more than that, but all right. You can't, and I, Kimmy, you might just have to deal with it for as long as possible. If that's if that's the kind of armor you get from from that, it's like, well, what's the point? Okay. I mean, let's just do this then. Boop. That's better. That's more like it. That's more like we wanted, wasn't it? All right, uh, continue the siege. Let's move you in. Still says Valiant Defeat. Really? Guess we'll need some siege towers. Let's just bring everyone in to help, I guess. All right, well, I'm hoping that my allies might get some stuff done, even as Scarbrand starts causing me issues over here. Can I do anything, like, can I do anything about Scarbrand? I'm thinking no. I'm, I'm thinking basically he can just do whatever he likes. Right, public order here is bad, but okay. So we could potentially get more money. If we can save some cash. Now let's do that. If we can save some cash. Then we can seduce some people. And obviously that will reduce their strength and increase ours. We've got a maximum budget mind. Um, how much are you guys? 165. We could get the, the spawn of corn. The Furies are probably better. I don't think we can do anything unless... And un Right, continue the siege. Unless we have any more... In right, you... you right. You've got an enticer. You don't have an enticer, so I can do that. That reduces the cost, which means we may be able to get more. Okay, so we could get those two. You're still very expensive. Um, we could... 
You're only 825. Okay, so we could get a, a Chaos Warriors and a Warriors of Corn. It's like seeing what, you know, try before you buy really should be. We could get the, the Flesh Hounds and the, the Furies. I'm kind of tempted just to get the Spawn of Corn because those things are an absolute friggin' nightmare to deal with. And I would much prefer them to be a nightmare for the enemy to deal with rather than for me to deal with. Um, but we're going to get some siege towers because that will help us take the walls. And also, I imagine those towers are going to hurt. Definitely going to sting a little bit. Uh, very little I can do over there. But if we take Inferno, then... And, and if... If they can reduce their strength overall and we can take their capital, I'm hoping that'll be enough to... Weaken Scarbrand so we can just chase him up. Just chase him and finish him off, basically. That's my thinking. Speak. Name it, and it shall be done. I mean the garrison here isn't great, but uh, let's knock that down. But you shouldn't be able to take it. We've got that army bottled up here. This army is recruiting down here. But that's not, so if we take Infernus, we can go down to the Brassic Glacier, take that. At that point, hopefully Corn won't have any settlements to use against us and all that kind of good stuff. And the more money we save, obviously, the more stuff we can, you know, seduce. Hello, you want a defense alliance? Uh, sure. I'll take that. We're all demons together. Bum bum. Okay, less less costy things. Oh, good. That's that's exactly what I needed on my plate. We are taking a little bit of attrition here. Uh, do we want to give it one more turn? I'm going to give it one more turn. What do you have? Okay, can't seduce any of these things. They're all very expensive. Nope, there's not. We literally can't seduce anything. Um, and what have you got? Right, that's a lot of a lot of very killy things that we are not going to be able to... Yeah. All is yeah. Lost. Probably best just to leave him there, really. Can we do anything here? Nope, this is... Nope, we're pretty, pretty stuffed. Okay, we'll give it... Give it that one more turn, I think, just to get. Just to get the. The other siege tower. Uh, what were we researching? Oh, yeah, we got Soul Hunters. Upkeep reduction for those guys. That's fine. I mean, once we've dealt with Scarbrand, we can then concentrate on dealing, you know, with, with flooding the Empire with our. Slanesh juices. Scarbrand's the main issue here. Deal with him. We good. That bad. My prince. Uh, I could stick a cult in you. I don't think there's much point doing the the army. That seemed really weak. Like massively weak. I'm not. Not super, not super invested in that. Ah, uh, more devotees is probably fine. Okay, you may take the bridge of brass. You've only got like three units, and yet I'm like, no, you could probably do that. Yeah, I'm fairly certain you can. Oh shit, my allies have turned up with one guy. Um, look, I'm, I mean, th thanks, but also, also no. Also, no. But thanks anyway. Imminent rebellion. Where? Here? Yeah. Uh, I don't really care about that. It's, I mean, to be honest, I'll, I'll probably lose that settlement anyway. So the fact that... Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, still can't seduce anyone. Nope. Okay, well... Okay.
I don't know what I expected from Corn Siege Towers, but... Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, we've got the big, big brass towers. Uh-huh. Big Corn Sigil. Nice. Okay, how are they moving? Um, I was thinking a rolling magical tide of skulls. Perfect. You're hired. Okay. <laughs> anyway, here's Scarbrand himself uh, with his 81 melee attack, his 808 more weapon strength, not to mention the that, that shit, his 20% physical resistance, his regeneration, the fact he's got frenzy, the fact that he he's roided I mean the the fact that he doesn't seem to have a neck is concerning to me uh, his testicles must be like peanuts just tiny anyway so the plan okay the plan is as much as there is a plan uh, we've, we've got some some blood letters sort of like sneaking away here but that's probably fine I mean what are they going to do so we are defending our left and right flank so, we, we know Scarbrand's coming in on the right here. So, what we're going to do is we have the perfumed the Halbard infantry guarding the gate. Because, of course, they are anti-large. Scarbrand, if you haven't noticed, is large. Apart from his testicles. And so, when he comes crashing through the gate, and he will, then they're going to be there to deal with him. Now, my hope is that Scarbrand will then throw himself towards Kimmy and that one. When he does that, we swarm him with Chaos Furies because they have a good amount of melee attack, reasonable weapon strength, armor piercing. And what that means is I hope that they're going to be... If they just swarm him, they can do a lot of damage. So we're going to surround him and try and pick him off while the perfumes sort of hold the gates. That's the plan. Over here, we've got most of our Marauders. Their plan is just to delay. They are there to delay the incoming attack. Try and beat them off if they can. But delay is, is the primary objective there. And in the center, we have not contested the walls here. We've just allowed them to reach the walls. I was thinking they're mostly Chaos Warriors. They're going to be fairly slow, which means they're going to take a little while to reach the city center, which is probably where they're going to head for. And at that point, we have some units of Hell Striders and Demonettes to meet them. But for the moment, they're just holding back. Okay, they're already through the gate, the Perfumed. Now dealing with these Chaos Warriors. Got that soporific musk on them. Uh, we've hit them. Oh, they've been hit by Rage Incarnate, which means they're now out of control. Scarbrand just barreling his way right into the midst of them. We have hit them with Hysterical Frenzy. That's going to increase their melee attack and their armor piercing. Now everyone is charging Scarbrand. Everyone throw... Get, get him! Get, get him! Get him! Get the beefcake! So he's now surrounded. He's taking a lot of damage there. We've reduced his melee defense to five. He's got fuck all. That means we just need to keep hitting him, hitting him. Keep doing that damage. Doing as much damage as possible. Just sort of like pin him down. Pin him down and wipe him out. I mean, if this is going to work, I don't know. But he is losing health. That's good. Over here, they've also breached the walls. But there are multiple lines of marauders to hold them back. Particularly these spears there, because I knew they were sending a lot of like cavalry and large units in this way. So we've got multiple layers of spears there. Slow them down, tie them out, cut them down if we can. Then we've got hell scourges being held in reserve just in case we need them. Chaos Warriors are starting to head towards the city centre, but for the moment, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is killing Scarbrand. Okay, Scarbrand, we, we keep debuffing him. Well, like, the less melee attack he has, melee defense even, the better. Because uh, that means we can, like, hit him a lot. And as you can see, he's down to about half health now. So he is taking a bit of a beating. That soporific musk is uh, causing him some significant issues. He's, uh, he is regenerating, though, which is a, is a bit of a problem. Acquiescence hit him. There we go. So down to 29 melee defense. And he seems to be trying to get away. I think he's, oh, he's heading for that one. Oh, gets a hit in there. She scarpers. But he's just constantly being harassed all the time, which is perfect. Meanwhile, we are holding back the rest of Scarbrand's forces on this side of the city with our own spawn of Slanesh. We've also got a Drowned in Excess, the other ones, and some Marauders as well. We've also got towers now being constructed. Scarbrand is taking a beating. Meanwhile, the city centre is about to come under attack. We're throwing in the demonettes against those Chaos Warriors. 
And the Seeker Chariots are mowing them down to try and allow those Demonettes to get those hits in their rear. We do have some slight issues here with more Chaos Warriors of Corn charging up through one of the streets. We're hitting them from both sides with the Hell Striders. Problem is that uh, those Chaos Warriors are pretty tanky, and while they will take significant damage while our charge bonus is in effect, that will soon start to dissipate, and we will need to cycle charge if we want to get anything anything done there. We seem to be holding the city centre okay, so that's good. Meanwhile, how's Scarbrand doing? He's still alive, but he is sad. He's not looking too happy. He's trying to get away. Looks like he's uh, he's being harassed by the... Oh, and he's taking tower damage as well. The Furies launching themselves at him. The Furies have been instrumental in this battle, taking him out. They've got the, uh, the the Rage Incarnate, so they're all rampaging now. But that's not necessarily a problem as long as they actually come down and attack him. Fortunately, the Perfumed are also just hacking away at him. Those anti-large attacks doing significant damage, and eventually they are going to pull him down. Down Scarbrand goes, and with him, a considerable portion of this army strength, particularly because we've actually managed to defeat the army on this side of the battle, which means we are now free to reinforce the other sections of the city. So, all ground forces are now heading for the city centre to, to rally the demonettes there, and the Furies are now heading over to the gates to try and slow the attack on this side, because while our spears have done significantly good work holding the corn forces at bay, it looks... No, it looks like army losses have taken effect, and... All of the demonic forces of Corn now crumbling away while their mortal followers are legging it as quickly as they can out of the city. City centre very much the same. Our demonettes now hunting down any of those warriors of Corn, whereas the blood letters have just disintegrated away. I've got to be honest, I didn't think we'd win that one, but. Holy shit, Kimmy. He only wiped out Scarbrand. Good grief. Um, I'm going to take the money. Genuinely did not think that was winnable. Uh, could do that. Uh, you're with Scarbrand and... The, uh, wait. Um, no, 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 I like this other guy, sorry. Right, I've had a little rebellion here, but that's fine, because I don't really care about it. Uh, we've got Saneshi Mutants, Crown of Black Iron, very nice, and Blood Quencher. Oh, that's pretty legit. And she survived, which, pretty, pretty amazing, to be honest. Um... Honestly thought she was about to buy the farm. Alright, let us take... Oh, this is a close victory now, which is good. Only medium casualties, but we'll still fight it. We've got some siege towers. Uh, it's time to show Corn how you do a siege when we seduce some of his spawn of Corn. How do we do that? Only Nakari knows how he seduces effectively... Mu uh, I don't... It's, you, you probably don't want to know, to be honest. Uh, but that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.